India faces significant water challenges. The country has uneven water distribution. Some areas experience floods while others face droughts. To address this, India has proposed an ambitious plan, the interlinking of its rivers. This project aims to connect 60 rivers across the country. The goal is to transfer water from surplus regions to water deficient ones. This massive undertaking has the potential to transform India's water landscape. However, it also raises concerns about its environmental and social impacts. This essay will delve into the details of India's river interlinking project. It will examine the project's goals, its potential benefits and the challenges it faces. The essay will also explore alternative solutions proposed by experts. The aim is to provide a balanced and informative perspective on this complex and controversial issue. The National River Linking Project, or NRLP, is an ambitious engineering endeavour. It aims to connect 60 of India's rivers through a network of canals and reservoirs. The project is divided into two main components, the Himalayan and the Peninsula. The Himalayan component focuses on linking rivers originating in the Himalayas. The Peninsula component will connect rivers in southern India. The project's proponents argue that it will address India's water scarcity issues. They believe it will boost agricultural production, generate hydropower and promote economic development in water-stressed regions. However, the project faces significant opposition from environmentalists and social activists. Critics argue that the NRLP will have severe ecological consequences. They are concerned about the displacement of communities, the destruction of forests and the disruption of river ecosystems. The project's feasibility and potential impact on the environment remain subjects of intense debate. The Ken Betwa River Link Project is the first project under the NRLP. Launched in December 2024, it aims to connect the Ken and Betwa rivers in central India. The project involves the construction of a dam on the Ken River and a canal to transfer water to the Betwa Basin. Proponents highlight its potential to irrigate agricultural land, provide drinking water to millions and generate hydropower. The project is expected to benefit the drought-prone Bundelkhand region, spanning parts of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. However, the Ken Betwa project has faced criticism for its potential environmental impact. Concerns have been raised about the submergence of land, including portions of the Panna Tiger Reserve, a critical habitat for Bengal tigers. The project's potential to displace communities and disrupt local livelihoods has also fueled opposition. The Ken Betwa project serves as a litmus test for the NRLP, highlighting the challenges and controversies associated with large-scale river interlinking. The idea of interlinking India's rivers is not new. It dates back to the 19th century during the British colonial era. Arthur Cotton, a British engineer, proposed linking major rivers in India to address water scarcity and improve navigation. However, Cotton's ideas were met with limited success due to technological limitations and financial constraints. The concept resurfaced in the 1970s and gained political momentum in the 2000s. Proponents argued that river interlinking would address India's growing water needs for agriculture, industry and domestic use. The idea found favour with policymakers seeking to enhance water security and boost economic growth. However, the proposal continued to face opposition from environmentalists and social activists who raised concerns about its potential ecological and social consequences. Section 5 Costs and Benefits – A Balancing Act The NRLP is a massive undertaking with a projected cost exceeding 168 billion US dollars. The project's proponents highlight its potential benefits including increased agricultural production, enhanced water availability for domestic and industrial use, and the generation of hydropower. They argue that the project will boost economic growth, particularly in underdeveloped regions. The NRLP aims to transfer approximately 200 billion cubic meters of water annually from water surplus to water deficient regions. This transfer, proponents believe, will alleviate water scarcity and improve agricultural productivity. However, the project's economic viability has been questioned. Critics argue that the massive costs involved may outweigh the potential benefits. 
They point to the long gestation period of such large-scale infrastructure projects and the risks associated with cost overruns. The lack of comprehensive economic impact assessments further fuels skepticism about the project's financial viability. Section 6. Environmental impacts are cause for concern. The NRLP has raised significant environmental concerns. Critics argue that the project will have a devastating impact on river ecosystems, forests and biodiversity. The construction of dams and canals will inundate vast tracts of land, displacing communities and wildlife. The project threatens to submerge forests, fragment habitats and disrupt the natural flow of rivers. Environmentalists warn that the NRLP could lead to the extinction of endangered species and the loss of valuable ecosystems. The project's impact on the monsoon cycle is another major concern. Altering the natural flow of rivers could disrupt rainfall patterns, potentially leading to droughts in some areas and floods in others. The introduction of invasive species through canals is another risk, potentially harming native aquatic life. The cumulative environmental impact of interlinking 60 rivers is a subject of ongoing debate and scientific scrutiny. Section 7 Social and Economic Implications A Complex Equation The NRLP's social and economic implications are complex and far-reaching. While the project promises to benefit some regions by providing water for irrigation and other uses, it threatens to displace communities and disrupt livelihoods in others. The construction of dams and canals will require the acquisition of land, potentially displacing millions of people. Concerns have been raised about the adequacy of compensation and rehabilitation measures for those affected. The project's impact on social equity is also a concern. Critics argue that the NRLP could exacerbate existing inequalities, with benefits accruing to more affluent regions, while marginalised communities bear the brunt of the project's negative consequences. The lack of transparency in decision-making and the limited participation of affected communities in the planning process have further fueled social unrest and opposition to the project. Section 8. Alternative Approaches – Sustainable Solutions Experts have proposed alternative solutions to address India's water challenges, emphasizing more sustainable and less disruptive approaches than large-scale river interlinking. Rainwater harvesting, for example, is a traditional water conservation method that can be implemented at the local level to capture and store rainwater. Groundwater recharge techniques can help replenish depleted aquifers, improving water availability for irrigation and domestic use. Promoting efficient irrigation practices such as drip irrigation and sprinkler systems can significantly reduce water consumption in agriculture. Crop diversification, shifting away from water-intensive crops like rice to more drought-tolerant varieties, can further reduce agricultural water demand. Investing in water treatment and recycling infrastructure can help conserve water by treating and reusing wastewater for non-potable purposes like irrigation and industrial use. Section 9 Challenges and the Road Ahead Navigating Complexity the NRLP faces numerous challenges, both political and logistical. Implementing a project of this magnitude requires coordination among multiple states, each with its own water priorities and concerns. Obtaining consensus on water sharing agreements and navigating interstate water disputes will be crucial for the project's success. The NRLP's environmental and social impacts necessitate comprehensive assessments and mitigation measures ensuring transparency, public participation and accountability in the planning and implementation processes will be essential to address concerns and build public trust. The NRLP's long-term viability hinges on addressing these challenges effectively. The project's proponents must demonstrate its ecological sustainability, economic viability and social acceptability. The road ahead for India's river interlinking project remains long and uncertain, fraught with complexities that demand careful consideration and a commitment to sustainable water management practices.